Why should you pay for moving boxes when you can get them for free? In this video, I'm gonna show you nine places where you can get moving boxes for free and I'll even tell you how to do it. Hey friends, welcome to Adulting with Esther, the show where we talk about the things that you don't learn in school. I'm Esther, and today we're gonna to be talking about nine places where you can get moving boxes for free. And I'm even gonna tell you how to do it. If you're new here, welcome. Consider hitting that subscribe button down below. If at any point during the video you wanna check out the description below, you'll be able to find great things like show notes. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I'll give you a valuable bonus tip on how you can turn a regular box into a box with handles using just two tools. Super duper cool, right? Without further ado, let's get started. Big box stores are a great place to get started on your free box search. Call ahead and let them know that you need them to set some boxes aside for you. When you show up, find an employee that's working on the sales floor and tell them that you asked them to reserve some boxes for you and they'll lead you to the back to pick them up. If when they're on the phone, they tell you they don't do that for customers, still show up anyway, find that employee and have them lead you to the back room and find a back room employee that's going to help you put some boxes aside. Another great way to tackle this is if you have a friend that works at one of those stores, have them put boxes aside for you and use that connection you have to get yourself some free boxes. Chain restaurants like Olive Garden also have a lot of really good sized boxes too. With places like that, you definitely need to call in advance. It also helps if you're a loyal customer and you can pull the loyalty card and tell them that you love shopping there. If you decide to pull the loyalty card, make sure you let them know that you are a supporting customer that comes in frequently and loves to come there with your family and this is a great relationship that you have between the two of you. You gotta make the offer look attractive, right? What do they get out of it? It never hurts to buy something when you're there too. You can do the exact same thing at fast food places. Just make sure you call in advance or use the connections you have. Remember to stick around to the end where I'm gonna share with you how you can turn a regular box into a box with handles, which definitely will make your packing easy. My personal favorite is liquor stores like Benny's. They put all the boxes by the front door. When I go through and I make a purchase, I ask them beforehand if I can take a few extra boxes. They usually let me take five or six, and I'll go back later and take five or six boxes again. But I don't even try and ask these places for boxes unless I'm making a purchase. So consider that when you're on your box hunt. But now I have a question for you. Where's your favorite place to get boxes at? Do you prefer to hustle like me and get them for free? Or do you prefer to pay someone else and get brand new boxes? Let me know down in the comments. Oh, and if you're getting value out of this video so far, remember to hit that like button. Prefer to do your box hunting online? Try Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. Make a listing for a wanted ad saying that you're looking for boxes for moving and any other person that's recently moved, you'll be able to pick it up from them. By sharing that you're willing to pick it up, you incentivize that person to get rid of their boxes. Cause when you move, all those boxes that you collect are really, really annoying. Otherwise, those poor people are going to have to drag it out to the dumpster. And that brings us to number six. Dumpster diving is one of my favorite ways to get boxes only if you live in a building or a neighborhood that recycles. Go to your recycling bin. With Amazon being so prevalent in our worldly society today, I guarantee you that you will have a neighbor who likes to make large purchases frequently. It might even be you. Dumpster diving not your thing? Still utilize the people in your building and neighborhood by putting some signs around. If you live in a single family home and your neighborhood allows it, put some signs with the little rip tags that say seeking boxes, give me your moving boxes, I'm happy to pick them up. Or if you live in an apartment building, you can ask the front desk or put a bulletin up on the wall so that people can see it and drop boxes off to you as they get their own. Wherever you work probably has some boxes too. At your job, you can let the front office staff or the back room people who work with all the merchandise know that you're collecting boxes to move. They'll put them aside for you and at the end of your workday, you have a bunch of free boxes to take home. How convenient is that? The last place that I found recently was a place called FreeCycle. It's a website in which people recycle free things. You're able to list ads that either say if you're looking for something or wanting to give something away. Everything is free, so you'll be able to use this on both ends, when you're looking for boxes and after your move when you wanna give them away. Pay it forward to someone like you. Now you stuck around to the end and I promised you that if you stayed here, I'd share with you how you could turn a regular box into a box with handles. And to do that, you're gonna need these two tools. Here I have my Husky uh, box cutter. I really like this box cutter because it has a button on here that allows it to be retractable. So that when I have it in my toolbox, I don't accidentally stick my hand in there and end up getting a finger sliced off, which does happen to people. It also comes with 10 replaceable blades that are in a separate cartridge. And they're really easy to replace. You simply slide this notch over, pull the bottom, bottom, bottom down, 
and your blade will come right out. In fact, the way it's set up, I'm able to flip the blades around, so I guess technically it comes with like 20 blades then, right? Pretty cool. And this putting it back is the same. You just slide the box cutter in, down, and you release the click. Boom, and all the way back in there. It doesn't close on its own, so I don't have to worry about it cutting off my fingers. In order to shut it, there's a release back here. You can see it closes in. You can find this in the description. I linked it. One of the most valuable tools that I have, especially when I'm moving and packing, because it has this belt clip here. I always lose scissors and knives when I'm using them to pack and unpack boxes. This, I can just clip to my shirt or my pants and I never lose it. The other tool you're going to need is some packing tape. Personally, I like the Duck HD Clear. I like to buy it in the six packs from Amazon. That's the best value. That's also linked down in the description too. The reason I like this tape over other tapes is it's really thick, honestly, so it's less likely to rip or tear, and it's held for years. I also use this in my classroom when I taught kindergarten, and if it can hold up against a kindergartner, which, by the way, they chew on everything, if it can hold up against that, it'll definitely hold up against anything you've got to do when you're packing, including like cats and dogs. So get your tools and I'm gonna show you how to make a handle on your box. Okay, first thing we have to do is get the cat out of your box. Once you've safely deposited your cat elsewhere, we can begin the box cutting process. What we're going to do here, you wanna do this before you pack your box full. We're actually going to cut two slits in each end of the box on the ends lengthwise so that you can carry it this way. Personally, I think this box is too small to even need handles, but maybe if you packed it really full of heavy things like weights or books or something like that, then you might wanna put handles on it. Each side, we're gonna make two cuts. We just need to put a V down the side. Open up your box cutter carefully, and about two inches from the top, you wanna go in about, about three inches diagonally, nothing crazy and then come up from the same way and make it even. Close your knife, boom, put that away. And simply bend that crease in. And now you have a handle. Repeat it on the other side. Now I like to reinforce mine so that this doesn't get in the way. I do that by getting some tape and literally just taping the handle up. It also proves to be an awesome cat toy. Now I've got a box with handles and a cat in it. And that's it guys. All right, friends, we made it to the end of this video. Congratulations. Take a second to brag and let everyone know how awesome you are by typing this secret code word down in the comment. Let's recap what we covered today. We talked about nine places, both virtually and in person, that you will be able to find boxes for free, which will not only save the planet, but save you money. And then as a bonus, I showed you how you could use two of my favorite packing tools to be able to turn a regular box into a box with handles so that it's easier to carry when you're moving. If you got value out of this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit that alarm so that you're notified when we post our next video on Tuesday. And as we end our time together, I wanna to remind you, as you go out into the world today and you deal with all those haters and other people out there, remember, you're enough. And the world is lucky to have someone as special as you. See you in the next video.